I am human by Sophia Love. I am human, gloriously, exuberantly, perfectly human. There is no better version of me. I let go of my higher self. I am multifaceted. I have lots of parts. There is one version of me, the one with an expanded view, who has decided to watch me now. Joining this life, I am living my life, the messy one, the one with me in it. What is going to emerge at the other end of all of this is another version of me. I can call it whatever I want. Time is an illusion. Oneness is truth. This means that I didn't start anywhere. There are no higher parts of me holding wisdom I don't yet have. It's all me, all the time. What I need are new words. Words to unleash my creativity in a world full of multi-billionaire light beings. What does a world with no restraints feel like? Can I imagine life without financial, spiritual, mental or physical limitations? Can I even visualize $10 billion? It is a one followed by 10 zeros. Those zeros that seem to have all the power are just a whole lot of nothing. It is the one in front of them that makes it all happen. That one would be me, the force of creation, here now to craft a world without limits. The whole point seems to have been to drive me to the edge of insanity, waiting, wondering and miserable, only to realise no one is coming. It is done. There are no ascended masters, galactic saviours or higher versions of me on the way to save me. This is my planet and I love her. I am the master, the one here to shift with her. This was the trip I came for. I have everything I need. No extra attachments are required to utilize the power here. The power source is me. I've just forgotten how to turn myself on. I've done this before. Today, I am here to do it as a human. I chose and was chosen To do this, I am not alone. I knew before I came that I'd have to get to this breaking point before I realised the truth. The only answer is me. The only place is to be here. The only time is now. I am the only one to do it. And I knew that I could. And that when that moment arrived... I would. It is upon me to find the new. I need words and tools that never were. That 90% of unused stuff in my brain is getting itchy. My ability to create is legion. It's why I was chosen. I will take the crayons out of the box. I work some magic. Now I start happening. Now I imagine eternal vitality, relentless abundance, pervasive peace and wild joy right alongside no traffic, great parking spots, good hair days and free concerts. Now I hold happy. Now I breathe music. Now I whisper trees. The vision I am holding is the life I am molding. I am addicted to myself and there is not a 12-step program. 
I wouldn't join one if there were. Humanity is the hottest game in town. Everyone is watching and wants to join in. I am passionately unhappy, dramatically ecstatic and violently loving. I create things just to tear them up from boredom. I run too fast, hide in the corners, sing off key and gossip. The human condition is me and I love every inch and nuance. I excite myself. There is no better version to become. I am here to harness my innate essence. While every single channel I listen to tells me how cool I am, I continue to believe I am supposed to be something else. These voices are reminders, nothing more or less, and I put them there. This entire life is my creation. I was never supposed to change. The answer is not outside of me. I planned to fall desperately in love with me. I have hidden my magnificence in gold, in others and in promises of more. I've blamed my failure on lack, on others and on outside limitation. There's no place else to go with this. I've reached part two, self-emergence. My emotions are the trigger and the best part of me. They fuel my human experience and create worlds. I enjoy them. I watch what happens. I love to emote, to feel and to push beyond. The angst of my heart is the subject of every song, each story in all of my favorite movies. To dream is my birthright. I've grown up inside institutions and ideas that said looking at the window was wrong, wasteful even. This attempt to systematically erase my core truth has failed. I am bigger than any method of thought. I embrace humanity. My emotions are the keys to my power. I only need desire and it is done. I love who I am. I see what I want and I don't stop until amazing happens. All contrast fuels creation. Humans do that for each other. We supply contrast. We give each other sparks. I am the master and the answer to your every prayer. I know what to do. The reason I haven't seen it yet or heard it yet it's because I haven't done it yet. I've been waiting. I am the God I've been waiting for. Gracious thanks, darling Sophia, for permitting me to do this recording. God bless you.